first of all, let's get your thoughts about uh, the general transfer. Well, the general transfer was actually very good. But as a Liverpool fan, I would say I was quite disappointed because I expected Liverpool to actually send a midfielder. We just really needed it. Right, so it was actually a quite um, sad transfer window for me, although we had Gapo, but of course we expected better. Yeah, and about Chelsea, uh, I think, personally, I feel it was actually, yeah, I understand it's transitioning and moving, but I just personally feel like it was um, lots of, there, there were some signings that are not very necessary. Yeah, of course, there are, there are good individual players, but they are not so necessary because revolution takes time, right? So signing 16 players in the, in the season is actually just a lot for me, that's what I'm saying. Right, so thank you. Do you think they can play well? No, I'm looking at the coach and all that. Well, individually, yes, they are good, but it's going to take time for them to do right? So I don't expect so much from them this week, this um, season. Of course, uh, Modric, they are fantastic players. You know, um, Enzo Fernandez is an amazing player. But I actually wish he came to Liverpool, honestly. But yeah, personally, I think it's going to take time for them to join. Right? And then I am a huge fan of the coach, right? I just hope they give him time to just um, get it together. That's all for me. Do you think Arsenal can go win the league? Or Man City can just come from behind and no, no, get to win the league? Yeah, personally, I want Arsenal to win the league, but I don't know if they have enough experience to actually win the league, right? Because, um, of course, they have lots of amazing players and a lot of and they've been playing fantastically well this, week, this season. However, I think Man City will still play it. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, the January transfer. We've seen, you know, the players moving into the Premier League. Uh, which team do you feel had a good deal in the January transfer? Uh, which team? Which team? Uh, it says Chelsea, but... They spent quite a lot of money, but they brought in very good players. So I think Chelsea um, had a good transfer window. Um, who else? I think they were the ones with the most activity to be some yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll say they had the best. Um, Okay, then looking at Arsenal, do you think Arsenal can win the league? Definitely, definitely. We're, we're in a very good position now. Um, five points ahead of City, with one game in hand. So, yeah, yeah. There's definitely believe that we can do it this season. Um, even though our general transfers didn't quite go as planned, but we brought in some couple of experienced players that we can, can deliver the trophy. So many people are saying that uh, the two legged between uh, Arsenal and Manchester City will be, you know, the game that will actually decide who will yeah. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that will be the defining uh, moment in those two games. If we can at least get three points out of this, then I think it's very good. Um, to go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, the general transfer. Uh, players is done deal already for some teams. Um, uh, which team do you feel had the best in the general transfer? So um, I feel like Chelsea has like a really good transfer season, like the general transfer window. We got like some good players, but unfortunately they are uh, performing so well. But I think you know, sometime, like in like next next season, they should play like really good, should like win the league next season. Okay, then looking at us now, uh, five points clear with one game in hand. Do you think that they can actually go all the way to win the league? But we know that, that they have two, you know, but uh, most you know, football pundits that say that they have two strong games against City Human already. Do you think they can actually you know who they are on and get to win the league? So for Arsenal, I feel like um, in the past few seasons, um, it's going to have the league that they're coming back in. But this uh, for players, they are showing that they are determined to win the league, they are playing everything, they are giving that 100%. So I feel like they just had a good chance to win the league this season to continue playing so well. And I feel like this should, should win the league. Should win the league. Okay. Arsenal have been here before, but we've seen this happen before. And I think Arsenal are maybe two or three key injuries away from like everything capitulating. Uh, and let, I would say like it, it, we can have this conversation after they've played City twice. If they beat City those two times, then yeah, fair enough. They probably have a better chance of winning. So like the next like four weeks, I think is very crucial for Arsenal. I would personally hate it if they do because, like, you know, they banter that we've been bantering us now for God knows how long. And granted that they've been trophyless, well, they've not won the Premier League longer than money. I think the last time I saw was 2005 or 2006, 2005 or 2004, even said. So it's been a long time. My United haven't won since 2013. So maybe it might not be that too bad if, like, they end up winning it. But it would be very embarrassing if, say, like, they. Like basically, I don't want Arsenal to win. I don't want Arsenal to win. <laughs> as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, they don't want Arsenal to win. Arsenal supporters, they do not keep. They don't have to shut up. Like they've been top of the. But I thought it was Chelsea fans. I don't know how to. No, Chelsea, Chelsea, to Chelsea, win. Chelsea, Chelsea. Like Chelsea are a club that we have an understanding in a way. They know that they've bought their trophies from time. 
we know the deal. We know what the deal is. They have a good season. They have three bad seasons. They have a good season. They have three bad seasons. Chelsea's goal is going to be Chelsea. They don't have that lengthy like rivalry and history with like United, for instance, and most other clubs in the Premier League. So even when Chelsea wins, nobody's really upset that Chelsea won the Premier League. Do you get me? But then for us now, like there's deep seated like loathing between both fans. You get so it's it's just one of those things. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. No